Welcome to your new InFlight Nomad Pro Aviation Microphone System. We are going to walk you through the user interface and the steps required to set up your new microphone for success. We are going to use a Bose QC35 headphone as our sample. Please keep in mind, there are hundreds of compatible consumer headphones that will work with our microphone system. Locate the auxiliary audio input on your headphones. Our system comes set up out of the box for plug and play compatibility with a 2.5 millimeter auxiliary input. Different sizes and styles of auxiliary inputs may require an adapter to convert to the 2.5 millimeter size. These adapters are available at nflightnomad.com. Attach the 3M dual lock mounting pad to the ear cup near the auxiliary audio port. Please make sure the area has been cleaned and is at room temperature before applying the 3M dual lock mounting pad. Press firmly to attach the microphone mounting pad. If possible, allow the pad to sit overnight at room temperature before its first use. When attaching your microphone, you will hear and feel an audible click when the microphone is put into place using the 3M dual lock pads. Everyone has a different sized face and head. Therefore, adjust the initial boom placement for what seems best as a personal fit. Sometimes angling the boom downward provides a better user experience. Insert the 2.5 millimeter plug into the 2.5 millimeter port on your headphones. Once the headphones are positioned on your head, make smooth adjustments to the flexible boom arm to position the mic directly in front of your lips. We recommend one to three millimeters of spacing. Make sure the word talk is directed towards your mouth. Make sure the raised tactile bump is facing outwards towards the aircraft's panel. The inline control box offers control over several features. Depending on how your panel is wired, the small switch labeled M and S changes the audio signal from mono to stereo. If you are getting audio in only one ear cup, try switching between mono and stereo by using this switch. The two knobs on the side of the control box increase and decrease the incoming volume for either the left or right channels, respectively. There are two 3.5 millimeter ports on either side of the control box. You can use these to hardwire in voice prompts from ForeFlight or other aviation software operating on your mobile device. You can also bring in music entertainment. You can add our Bluetooth adapter to either of these inputs to bring wireless capabilities to the system. Incoming volume is controlled by the audio source. Currently, phone calls are not possible with the Bluetooth adapter. These ports can also be used to send the master comms mix out to the audio capture device of your choosing. On the base of the control box is a small metal, silver colored slot. With the small metal key attached to your microphone cable, you can insert the key into the metal slot and adjust the microphone's sensitivity. Counterclockwise reduces the mic's sensitivity and clockwise increases the mic's sensitivity. Depending on your radio stack, your speaking style, and the power of your voice, you may need to adjust the sensitivity to meet your communication preferences. To remove the microphone, always unplug the 2.5 millimeter connection first. Then carefully peel the microphone base away from the ear cup. For product support, please reach out to us by email support at nflightnomad.com.